Stopping a console application is so much more than killing a process. If you want to do it right, there's something you should be aware of. If we were talking about ASP.NET, this thing that I will show you would be so much simpler than it will be on a console application. I have shown you that in another video. So in this video, we will see how to gracefully cancel any ongoing work on a console application. So I have a console application that recurrently is exporting data, creating a report. And I want to gracefully stop that application. And to do that, I will use cancellation tokens. But unfortunately, here I don't have them out of the box. But let's start by the simple part. Let's add the cancellation token as an argument to this function and forward it to every asynchronous, I.O. expensive operation that we can. Then instead of having an eternal loop, let's change it. And if we know that the token was cancelled, let's use that information to stop the cycle. So instead of a while through, we'll check if the cancellation was already requested. Now we need to provide the token to this method. Creating a new cancellation token will not work because a cancellation token can cancel itself. We need a cancellation token source. Now we need to find a way to cancel the cancellation token. And in a typical console application, usually we have something like the control C or something like that or pressing any key to stop everything. So what I will do is to start another task that will observe if any key is pressed. Once a key is pressed, we can go to the cancellation token source and call the method cancel. By doing so, every single function that is aware of that cancellation token can react to it. So we'll stop that while cycle, we'll cancel that task, we'll cancel any query going into the database, we'll cancel everything. And once we do that, the task that we were awaiting from the run method will keep going, so it will return. But when we cancel it, it will throw an exception. And we need to handle the exception to gracefully shut down this application. So I will catch the operation cancel exception. Since we can have either the operation cancel exception or the task cancel exception, and the second one implements the first one. So now I know that the ongoing work was cancelled by the user and I can stop this application. And the cool thing is that in just a few minutes with a few lines of code, now I prevent my application and my database to waste resources. Next, I want to add some tests to this job. And I'm lucky since in this video, it explains how .NET 8 massively improves that. How? By giving us a new way to control the flow of time. 